Hey everyone, I'm Mickey. Welcome back to Lace Up Solutions. By popular demand, we've built out a feature in the Lace Up software that enables all of our distributors to project future deliveries for their customers. We do this by capturing inventory levels at the customers and we're able to capture what the customer sold between one delivery and the next, meaning that we can predict what the next delivery is going to be. So on the board here, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and then I'm gonna turn it over to the device and show you on the device how we were able to accomplish this projection. Let's get right into it. On the board here, I've created an example of potato chips. Let's say that these potato chips I sell to public supermarket, okay? This is for one store. Now, let's say that on Monday, I left 20 potato chips, okay? Last on hand is 20. That's what I left on the store on Monday before I left. Then I get to the store today, okay? Today is Thursday. When I walk in, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if there's any potato chips I need to take back as a credit because they were damaged, they were stale, whatever happened. In this case, let's say that our credits were five. So last time we left the store, there were 20. Today, we're taking out five credits. And then after we take out those five credits, we're going to count how many good potato chips are left on the display that are gonna remain there until the next visit. So let's say in this example, we're gonna leave two stays. So two potato chips are staying on the display for the next visit. So with these values, what we're able to do is we're able to calculate a value called sold by store. That is the value that the store sold between last visit and this visit. So in this case, let's do the math. If we left 20 last time, this time we took out five credits and this time we counted two stays that are remaining on the display. This means that the store sold 13. And 13 equals 20 minus five minus two. For those of you out there that do math better than me, check me on my math. So the store sold 13, meaning that between Monday, okay, and today, the store sold 13 with this value I'm able to associate over time a moving average per day of the week, per item, per customer. This means that we can project, okay? I wouldn't say 100%, but I would say 90% of the demand for a customer. So now that I've explained this to you on the board, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it to you on the device. So on the device here, I've opened up a customer, okay? So it, the customer in this case is called test customer looks like this okay now if you look right here the test customer has the projection for today preloaded in there so your driver is already coming with a pre-order and inventory on the truck because the projection for today was created the last visit so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up this projection and when I do the system's going to tell me what I left last time it's gonna tell me my dumps and my returns which are my credits it's gonna tell me my stays, which are what's staying this time for the next visit, and it's gonna tell me what my projection for today is, what my delivery for today should be. So let's go ahead and take out some, some dumps or some credits. Let's calculate some stays, okay? Now when I do that, you'll see that the sold by customer calculates. You see sold by customer, 18, okay? You can see it right here. Now when I'm done, I hit done, okay? You'll see that the system will generate an invoice and a credit. But now here's where the magic happens. Because I've captured all this data, I'm able to go to menu, and there's a little button here called sales order. That button is gonna create the order for the next delivery date, okay? So we're gonna go to sales order, and lo and behold, there's our projection for the next visit. So you can see right here, it's projecting two of these cherry items now these are zero because there is not sufficient data in my test environment to generate values but the driver can change those to whatever value he deems appropriate so that's my projection for the next visit okay and the way we came to that projection if you tap on the item itself it shows you exactly what the moving averages are per day of the week so what the customer is selling every single day of the week 
okay? Now, with this math, we're able to come up with that projection. So anyways, that's a brief overview of the projection tool. If you all have any questions, hit me in the comments down below. My objective with this tool is to project all future orders for all of our distributors to eliminate credits and satisfy demand in full. Again, any questions, hit me in the comments down below. My name is Mickey and my goal is to bring you a couple videos a week to provide you value, okay, and bring you information that perhaps you didn't know about before. Either way, I look forward to, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.